telling bedtime stories, build character and attitude in our tiny thoughts. Their thinking patterns get changed, their imagination finds direction and they definitely discover their self-identity. Good evening children and today's story is Golu on a space ship. It was a fine dark evening and the sky was full of stars. Golu, the little boy, was looking up at the colorful stars from his window. The twinkling stars were his best friends and they were shining brightly for him only. One rhyme before you go to sleep, said Golu's mother just then, tucking him into the bed. Golu turned the pages of his rhyme book obediently and started reading the poem that he always found the best. Oh, look at the moon. He is shining up there. Oh, look. Oh, mother. Oh, Golu fell off to sleep before he could even finish his lines. But what did Golu's mother do then? Of course, she did not leave him like that. She closed his book and dressed him carefully in a space suit with a round helmet. There was a huge ship standing in their garden and mother gave a goodbye kiss to Golu and sent him off on a trip to the moon. The ship spread his great wings immediately and took off. It was small, but it moved fast. Golu was able to see a yellow moon calling him lovingly with his smiling eyes. The sky above looked blue and deeper blue as the ship sailed through it and the lights of his house faded in the distance. The shining stars, big and small, were spread all around. They came close and blocked Golu, their friend's path. They wanted to play hide and seek with him. And Golu himself wanted to play with them for some time at least. The stars and clusters rushed away happily and hid themselves in their favorite clouds. There were yellow clouds, orange ones and a lot of pink ones too. And little Golu in his spaceship lost his way in the Milky Way. He searched high and low for them and went to the edge of the sky but he could not find the stars anywhere. They had simply vanished from there. Ah, said Golu. He had a wonderful idea. He would follow the evening star to take to trace them. And so off he went and soon searched the great bear, the pole star and other stars too. Golu picked up some shiny stardust from where they had fallen on the pink clouds. And he collected few golden moonbeams too. He flew then to gather the tiniest and the brightest star for her dear mother as a return gift. Doesn't it look nice? he exclaimed. He twirled his ship round the moon once and made it dive with a great speed to pluck the little most star. And lo, the clever star moved away just in time. Whoosh! Little Golu lost his control. His ship moved down the slope faster and faster. Over it went, nose into his home, and on the chimney pot, and, uh, and then bump, bump. Golu 
landed back in his room on his bed. Golu got up with a start. The two twinkling stars were still very close. They were smiling at him affectionately and calling his name. Golu, Golu. But they were not stars. They were his mother's eyes. She was bending over his bed and calling him softly. Get up, Golu. It's time to go to school. Thank you, children. Good night and sweet dreams.